Hey, Merry Christmas, everybody, from all of us here at Tack Room Devotional. Yes, it's Christmas time. I'm Keith Brown. It's hard to believe that Christmas is here so quick. But anyway, uh, so we're talking about the Christmas gift. It's the gift of Jesus Christ. I know you're all out shopping trying to find the perfect gift. He's available. Anytime, take time, just sit down and enjoy his presence. Anytime. He is Christmas gift. And I hope you don't forget what Christmas is about. Okay, so open your Bibles to Isaiah chapter 9, starting with verse 6. It says, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulders, and his name will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, of the increase of his government and peace there will be no end, upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it and establish it with judgment and justice from that time forward, even forever, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. Now today, and, and yesterday what we talked about was his government. We talked about the fact that he was born a baby, but he did not stay a baby. He and when we celebrate, like my daughter's birthday, I used this as an illustration yesterday, we don't celebrate the fact that she's still a baby because she's not. We celebrate her life. We celebrate what she's accomplished in her life. We celebrate all about that. That's what we should be celebrating this Christmas. Look what Christ has done for you and me. Look at the gift that he has given to us. Why wouldn't we want to be in church on Sunday? It's another opportunity to worship and glorify and magnify the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Okay, so today let's talk about this first name, Wonderful Counselor. Now, if you look in your Bible, you'll notice that the, there is a, a, a comma after wonderful. The thing that is in the original text, there's no punctuation uh, um, points. There's no commas, there's no periods, there's no exclamation points. In the English language, we did that. But in the, in the uh, Hebrew, it wasn't there. And so I believe that this is actually saying wonderful counselor. However, if you wanted to break it out and say, well, he's wonderful and he's a counselor, that's okay with me too. But I want to look at it today as wonderful counselor. Now, one of the amazing things as we look at the birth of Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior is that w when you look at birth announcements, if you're looking in, the, uh, in a newspaper, you know, they'll say that the baby's born on such and such a date and how big he was and how much he weighed and so, so forth. But this announcement's a little bit different. Why? Because in this birth announcement, the announcement not only predicts what kind of person the baby will be, but does so 700 years before the birth takes place. That birth announcement right here, that is absolutely amazing. Um, the context of the meaning for counselor, let's look at that. Um, when we talk about counselor today in our world, usually it's a psychiatrist or a psychologist or it's a counselor at school, uh, someone to help you uh, get through some, some problems and some situations. It's saying that uh, he is a wonderful counselor. In other words, anything that you go through in life, you can call on Jesus to get you through. Uh, well, think about this. In John, it says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, and the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. In other words, Jesus is the Word. Okay, you and I know the Word of God is the Word of God, it's the wisdom of God, it's the way of God, it's the, uh, it's, it's the will of God. That's what the Word of God is, and here we find in John 1 is that Jesus is the Word. Well, no wonder he's a good counselor, because if you want to know the things, are, uh, uh, the things of the kingdom of God, how the kingdom of God functions, remember, because it says that he's going to establish his, his government. You only need Jesus as your wonderful counselor in order for you to understand how the kingdom of God functions and how you, what you need to do to function in it. Amen. That's good teaching right there. Hey, I'm Keith Brown. This is Tack Room Devotional. Jesus loves you. I love you. I pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently seek him and serve him.